Hello and welcome, I'm the Brad Lloyd and this channel is all about smart home tech using Apple HomeKit. Today I'm sharing two products with you from a company called Qingping, the air monitor light and a temperature and humidity monitor. I want to thank Qingping for sending me these products to test out and share my honest feedback with you here on my channel. I'm excited to tell you all about these products, what I love and what I think could be better. We spend much of our time indoors, especially with so many of us now working from home, and as much as I hate to say it, with winter right around the corner. I feel like it's important to pay attention to the air we're breathing. And while an indoor air quality monitor won't improve your air all by itself, it helps to bring an awareness to what's in your air so you can take action. And I'll talk about some of the steps you can take a little bit later. Let me start with the Qingping temperature and humidity sensor. This one is pretty straightforward. It's a circular design with an e-ink display that displays temperature and humidity. This doesn't really do anything special aside from displaying temperature and humidity levels, but it's nice to monitor this information throughout your home so you can identify hot and cold spots and make sure that your humidity levels are consistent. And since it's in HomeKit, you can use it to engage your smart thermostat or humidifier as needed. While there are many HomeKit accessories that are capable of monitoring temperature and humidity levels, it's nice having something with a display instead of always asking Siri or checking the app. The sensor comes with a magnet so you can stick it to your fridge or other metal surface. It also has a stand so you can place it right on a shelf or a desk. Qingping says it has a 180 degree viewing angle to make it even easier to read. Based on my testing, I agree with this statement, though it's no different than screens from other air quality monitors that I've tested. This unit takes a CR2430 battery that Qingping says should last between 8 and 12 months. It's nice to not have to worry about charging the unit, and replacement batteries are only a couple of dollars. While current temperature and humidity data can be viewed from the Home app, the Qingping app is where you can view historical data from the previous 30 days, and you can also export this data if you wish. I was actually a little disappointed that you can only view 30 days of data since other companies like Eve retain historical data indefinitely within the Eve app. This is a Bluetooth device, so no manufacturer hub is required. The Qingping temperature and humidity sensor retails for a reasonable $45.99 Canadian, though shipping times are currently showing three to six weeks, so I'm really hoping that improves. I'll have an affiliate link in the description, just make sure to get the H version, which is the one that works with HomeKit. Now let's talk about the Qingping Air Monitor Lite, which I think is a really exciting product. I've reviewed several other indoor air quality monitors that work with HomeKit, but not one with the features of this one. Let's start with the form factor. I love how this looks. It's compact and it reminds me of a retro alarm clock. It plugs in using USB-C and it comes with a USB to USB-C cord, but no power brick, so something to keep in mind. There's a battery, but it only lasts 7 hours on standby according to Qingping's website. When I tested this out, I got about 6 hours, but I'm sure results can vary. Honestly, I don't see this as a portable device. This simply isn't just a temperature and humidity sensor that can last 12 months on a rechargeable battery. This thing needs power. Perhaps you can move it to another room temporarily without plugging it in, but most of the time, you're just going to want to keep this plugged in. So this monitors temperature and humidity, but it also monitors CO2, PM2.5, and PM10. This does not monitor VOCs. So let's just talk briefly about what each of these metrics are and what it means. So CO2, I'm sure we're all aware of what carbon dioxide CO2 is. Symptoms of high CO2 can include headaches, dizziness, difficulty breathing, fatigue, and increased heart rate. And it's often a cause of poor ventilation. Especially with newer airtight homes, this can be an issue. My home's just two years old, and like many, it comes with an HRV that helps to bring in fresh air. Using Qingping's air quality monitor light, you can keep track of CO2 levels in your home, both current and historical. High CO2 levels can warn you to increase your ventilation by opening some windows or turning up your HRV if you have one. So what about PM2.5 and PM10? Well, PM stands for particulate matter. This is a term for a mixture of solid particles and liquid droplets found in the air. The 2.5 and 10 refer to the diameter in micrograms of those particles. For example, the average human hair from your head is 70 micrograms, making them 30 times larger than PM2.5 particles. PM10 are inhalable particles with diameters that are 10 micrometers and smaller, and PM2.5 are fine inhalable particles with diameters that are generally 2.5 micrometers and smaller. 
According to the EPA website, exposure to such particles can affect both your heart and your lungs. I won't get into all the details here, but I will leave a link in the description to the article on the effects of PM exposure from the EPA website. Let's take a look at the screen. This is an OLED screen and you can see it's really easy to read. This is a small indented strip at the top that you can either tap or swipe to go through each of the readings. Some of these numbers may not mean a lot to you, so I like that Qingping made it really simple to understand by including a colored line at the top of each recording. The color of the line represents the quality for that measurement. For example, CO2 ranges from green normal to a red maroon very high. I do wish there were more display options available, such as including all of the readings on one screen. Adding these devices in HomeKit is pretty straightforward if you've ever added a HomeKit accessory before. I will point out that I had issues connecting the air monitor light into HomeKit, and when I contacted Qingping, they realized it was actually mislabeled with the incorrect HomeKit code. So this was a little concerning, but they've assured me that they've taken steps to make sure this doesn't happen again. I have to be honest, I've added a ton of HomeKit products over the years, and I've never had a product with the wrong code. Regardless, once I got the correct code, it literally took me a minute to set up. As I've mentioned, you can view the temperature and humidity details in HomeKit, but the Qingping app is where you can see all of your historical data. I found the app to be glitchy at times, sometimes it'll just freeze or spontaneously change screens without me clicking anything, and when this happens, I just close the app and reopen it, and usually it's fine. Once your devices have been added, you'll be able to view them from the home screen. You can click on any of these devices to view even more information. The temperature and humidity sensor is pretty straightforward, but the air monitor light is pretty interesting. Right away, I can see all five metrics with colored dots, which I'm happy to report is currently reading as excellent. You can also click any of these readings to learn more about any of these metrics. As I scroll down, I can see even more historical data recorded in 15 minute increments over the last 24 hours. But I can also click to see the last 30 days. Again, if you wanna see more than 30 days worth of data, you'll need to export this. And you can do this by having a CSV file emailed to you. The exported data can also be useful if you want to view information from each reading, since the app only shows this level of details over the past 24 hours. Under the settings, you've got some options starting with a screensaver. This is an OLED screen after all. The default is bouncing the current readings, but you have the option to rotate all readings, and there's also a clock option with current or rotating readings. Another setting I really like is the screen auto off during night. I have mine set to be off from 9pm to 6am so it doesn't light up my room while I'm sleeping. And you can easily wake the device simply by pressing the strip along the top. This is a really smart feature. If I could take this a step further, I'd love to see the ability to dim the screen at night so it's still on, just not as bright. The settings is also where you go to update your firmware, which should always be the first thing you do after you've added your device. And there's also a place that you can add feedback and make suggestions, which makes it really easy to recommend ways to further improve the app. One of the great things about smart home accessories is utilizing automations. So what type of automations are possible? Well, in the home app, I find you're a little limited. For example, you can create an automation that triggers when high carbon dioxide is detected. But what is high? Using a third party app like Home Plus 5, you can specify the CO2 levels. For example, you could say when CO2 levels are greater than 1000 ppm, then turn on an exhaust fan, run your HVAC, or even turn a light red to alert you to take action. Similarly, if you have a smart air purifier, you could turn it on when PM levels get too high. Why is this called the air monitor light? Well, there is a non-light version as well. It's very similar, though a little bit larger, and it also monitors VOC levels, and it also displays local weather conditions. Unfortunately though, it's not HomeKit compatible. I would love to see HomeKit support added to this in the future. The Qingping Air Monitor Lite sells on Amazon for $129.99 Canadian, which I think is a fantastic price for what you get. As of recording, the shipping time is only a couple of days, and as a bonus, it's currently $10 off. After all my testing, here are my overall thoughts. I think this is a great device. I have other indoor air quality monitors, but none that measure CO2 in particular matter. So I think this is a great addition. I also love the design and the sides, which may fit more easily with your decor. 
I do wish this had a VOC monitor on it as well, and as I've said, it would be great to have more display options, such as an option to include the time and all of the readings on one screen. I know this would make the text on the display smaller, but personally, this is something I would be totally on board with. I also found that the temperature readings on the air monitor light tend to read high at times when compared to other temperature sensors, including Qingping's own temperature and humidity sensor. Perhaps this is because the unit generates heat and that's throwing off the reading. It's not significant, but it can be a degree or so on the warm side based on my experience. Overall though, I'm a fan of both of these products and I think they're a great addition to any smart home. I will have affiliate links to both of these sensors if you're thinking of picking one of these up. If you purchase an item using one of my links, it will help me expand and hopefully improve the quality of the content on this channel, and it's at no additional cost to you. As always, I appreciate your support so much. That's all for today's video. I hope you found it helpful. Don't forget to give the video a like and subscribe so you can catch my future HomeKit videos. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.